Mate, how does that rate after the 40 odd games that you played? That must be up there as a win. Yeah, definitely. To to come out, I guess round one is always it's always good to get a win, and then to do it against the reigning premiers is uh, yeah really exciting, and um, it was just awesome fun to be out there. To be honest. Thanks. Talk about your resilience after the game, after falling behind so much. What was the the chat at quarter time, and how did you turn it around? Um, yeah, to be honest, we, we weren't really too, too worried. We knew we played all right. We were just making a few little mistakes and we were handballing too much when it was a little bit slippery out there. Uh, so we knew that we'd also kicked, I think, one goal five maybe. Uh, so, yeah, we knew that if we came out in the second quarter and just kicked a little bit more and were a little bit more controlled with our ball movement that we could come back and, yeah, I guess that's what we did. How did you, you walk the line between celebrating such a huge win and obviously sort of focusing on next week? Uh, I guess straight after the game, is, that's a time to reflect and to celebrate a, a little bit. But yeah, it's round one and there's a, there's a massive season to go, you know, 20, 21 rounds still. Uh, so yeah, we're, we've sort of moved on already to, to next week and, and what we can do to beat the Kangaroos. Massive pre-season and then it throws up an absolute heat wave on Saturday night. Yeah. How big a factor and help was it for you guys that you'd done the work in those kind of conditions? Yeah, well... It's obviously pretty hard for a team to come to, to Brisbane and, and to play. Uh, I guess West Coast had been training the heat, but nothing like that in terms of humidity. And, and we train at night during the pre-season on, on Wednesdays. And yeah, I think it's just being used to that and it's not a shock to the system. It, it really helped. And you saw that in the second half, we were able to run over the top of them. So I think, yeah, our fitness and our, our ability to play in the heat really held us in good stead. From a game style point of view, did anything feel different to, to last year? Uh, I think we were able just to get a bit more composure on the ball and, and really use it well. Uh, I think our defence was pretty pretty good. We forced them to kick long, the, uh, long down the line a lot of times and then our big boys could you know create a contest, spoil it out of bounds. But I think we've been working on the game plan for three years and it's been pretty similar the whole time. So that was just us being able to uh, perform and, and play it well and that's, that's what happens, you get results. As far as club debuts go, the way Lincoln McCarthy played on the weekend was, yeah. was pretty good, wasn't it? Yeah, he was awesome. He, he started started a little bit poorly, I think. He, he'd admit that, but uh, he was able to bounce back. The second quarter, he really sparked us, um, and he, he helped Charlie out and took a bit of pressure off him, and then Charlie was able to get off the hook as well. I think all the new boys were really good. Lockie Neal obviously played well. You expect that week in, week out from him. And uh, also um, Jared, JL, Jared Lyons, but I think with Link, you, you know, we internally know what he can do, but he hasn't been able to get on, onto the park, so it's really exciting for everyone to see you know, how good he actually is. With Lockie and Jared um, in your team now and those real hard inside mids, have you, did you notice in one game whether it helped your game at all because you were able to get outside a bit more? Yeah, it's, it's always good to have those, those guys in there doing the, doing the hard work, and I think now we've just got a more even, even spread of guys that can you know, go inside, can go outside. Uh, so it was really good and they were able to win at the coal face and then our good ball users were able to get it into, you know, the likes of, Ch well, Hippie and Maka who did really well to nullify the, the big boys and then create a contest and then, you know, Charlie and Link reap the rewards. So. What about North Melbourne, mate? A huge challenge, first uh, game on the road? Yeah, they're obviously a, a good side. They didn't play as well as they probably would have hoped on the weekend, uh, but we're really looking forward to, to that challenge. and. They're a good side, especially at Etihad Stadium, so uh, we'll, we'll do what we need to do this week to prepare for that, and it's another good opportunity for us. Expectations only going to grow. Do you embrace that, or do you try and block it out? What's the philosophy there? Um, I think we've got to embrace it to an extent. I think you can't read into it too much. As I said, it's only round one. Uh, so, yeah, you've got to enjoy it. We haven't probably had those expectations for a long time now, and... It's a little bit different for us, so we're going to have to learn how to deal with it. But at the same time, it gives us great confidence that, um, and belief that we can you know, play well against the best sides. Hugh, on um, Saturday night, the, the fans started the Lions chant. It's been a long time since that happens often here. As yeah. a player, how does that make you guys feel? And was it talked about after just how involved the crowd got when you got to the front? Yeah, I think that's the great thing about the galleries. You know, it wasn't a packed house by any means, but it felt like it was out there. It was so loud and, you know, they... What I love about the Gabba crowd um, is that they don't just celebrate the goals, they celebrate the big tackles, the smothers, you know, the big big spoils over the line. When Hodgie came forward and, and punched that one into the sixth row, they, they were going nuts. So and then yeah, at the end of the game I was sitting on the sitting on the bench and just to listen to the crowd and I guess for us it's just being able to pay them back in a way and, and you know, play some good 
exciting footy for them and, and let them enjoy a night at the footy. Um, it's really rewarding. Because last year, mate, we talked a lot about having admirable losses. Yeah. How good is it now to have, have a result? Yeah, it's awesome. I mean, there's only so many games you can lose by, you know, under a goal and, and keep being positive about it. Uh, and that was a real focus for us this year. We really wanted to, you know, turn those turn those losses into into wins and to be able to you know start that on on uh, Saturday night in round one against a very good side was really exciting. Have you got any concerns about playing at the Marvel Stadium pitch? We saw a lot of players sliding and the ground being covered. Um, to be honest, I haven't seen too much about that, and I guess we'll have to wait till we play there to be able to, to be able to judge it. Um, so yeah, I love playing at Etihad. It's a really quick ground, and um, I don't have too many concerns. So there were people on the weekend saying it's unfit for the AFL games, and yeah. the, uh, one, one commentator called it a disgrace. Yeah. So you, those are strong words about the play, place that your place of work, yeah. your safety. So you will be hoping the AFL is doing a lot of double checking and, and looking into it. Yeah, I'm sure they're doing all they can. They're not going to put us on a on unsafe ground, so the ground staff will be doing everything they can to make it safe for us. And we're, you know, we're looking forward to it, as I said. And we're just going to play it as it as it comes and, and go out there and yeah, play footy.